All right, in this series of videos, we are going to create a web application from scratch using only the Java programming language. No HTML, no JavaScript at all. Yeah, we will have to touch a little bit of XML and maybe configuration files, but it's super easy to understand. And so here's the plan. So first, we are going to create a new project from scratch again. Then we're going to implement authentication and authorization using Spring Security. We are going to implement a CRUD view, that is um, create, read, update, and delete uh, with database connectivity. We are going to then add a form that has collaborative features and it's going to be really, really interesting. Then we're going to add a view to show a report that you can export to, for example, PDF or uh, common separated values and many other formats, actually. And then the icing on the cake for this project is to add um, cookie consent dialog, and that's very, very easy to do with Vadin. So let's start with the first step, setting up the project. All right, so I'm gonna use IntelliJ IDEA for this project, and let's just go ahead and create a new one using the Spring Initializer. I'm gonna leave all these as, as it is. I'm just gonna change here to um, Java 17. Next, we are going to use Spring Boot Dev Tools, Lumbug, so that we don't have to code uh, getters, setters, and all that. Uh, we're gonna use Spring Security here. Uh, of course, we are going to use my favorite uh, web framework for Java, which is Vadin, and we are going to use Spring Data JPA. And let's use also my favorite uh, database, MariaDB. Finish, and let me show you what we have here by default. So we have a bunch of files here that we are not interested in, uh, but the important part is that you get the source here with just one Java class which has a public static void main. This is kind of the entry point of a Java standard Java application, and in this case, it's a Spring Boot application. But before we continue, let me add some other dependencies that I need for this project. So I'm going to go to vadin.com slash directory, which is a place where you can find third-party uh, components for Vadin. And uh, I promised I would create a um, CRUD view, right? And so there is a there is a component that um, allows you to do that very very easily. CRUD UI add-on, which I created uh, some years ago. So let's copy first the repository, the Maven repository, and let's add it. Um, I don't think there is a repositories section, so we need to add that here. And let's add the repository there. Now let's copy the uh, dependency. I'm going to add it just right after Vadin Spring Boot Starter. Uh, what else do we need to do here? I think that's it. So we also need um, an add-on to create, to easily create reports later in a, in a later video. So let's copy the dependency and added here. We don't need to copy the repository because it's the same. But we are going to also use the collaboration engine from Vadin, which I think I can find here. Let's copy this, added. Another thing I want to do is to use maybe the latest version of Vadin. So let's check that here, releases. And so it's at 21.06 as of today. Uh, let me click over here. And also maybe the collaboration engine, uh, let's use the latest version. Uh, here it is. There we go. We refresh the Maven project so that the ID knows which dependencies it should use. And I think this should be ready. Okay, now let's configure a couple of things here. So in the application.properties file, we need to configure the database um, connection. So that would be uh, spring.datasource data source URL. And okay, so for the URL, let's create a new connection here inside my IDE uh, MariaDB. And I have one server 
running already. I think my user is root. Let's use root. Don't do this uh, in production, of course. And I think my password is password. Um, succeeded. All right. So yeah, it's working. Apply. Let's copy this URL. And that's what we are going to use uh, right here. Now, maybe I should create um, a schema here. So let's create a new schema, which is kind of a database inside MariaDB. Let's call these books. OK, so we should have it there. And there are no tables, but uh, JPA is going to create that slash books. We need to specify the name of the database and the connection URL. Now let's go ahead and use uh, con or configure the username and the password password and then another thing that I'd like to do is, is to configure a DDL auto from um, hibernate to let's use update here so it creates the databases or the objects in the in the database another thing I want to do it's uh, providing a specific providing white listed packages that's going to be um, useful for um, or, or makes uh, the compilation much much quicker so we're going to add this package over here, com example demo. And this could be a list of packages separated by a comma or by uh, commas. So we need to add also com.vadin because we need uh, anything that comes from those packages, anything that is related to vadin, we should add it here. Or .vadin because there are add ons, and if you add, you have your own uh, add ons and you add here more packages. Uh, Always uh, remember to do that. I hope I didn't make any mistakes here, but I think we'll get an error if I if I don't do this correctly. So let's double check com example demo com .badin org .badin. I think that should be uh, all right. I guess we have configured the the project now. <laughs>